Are you looking for a place to relax, spend the holidays, and also go in sightseeing to all the work of nature and beautiful works of art? Well, look no further, because Tulum, this beautiful city which lies along the Mexican coastline, has a lot in stock for you. Water parks, beaches, and lagoons to go for a fun vacation, to archaeological sites and museums to stimulate your mind and add to your knowledge. Tulum is that town you would not want to simply be told about. It's a place you definitely want to experience. Welcome to Travel Moji, your exploring boarding pass to access the world. In today's video, we will be taking a tour through Tulum, and together we will explore the top 10 places to visit in Tulum. Number 10. Can Lum Lagoon. This lake is located in the southwest center of Tulum with a depth of 264 feet. The Can Lum Lagoon is one of the most visited places that tourists visit during their stay in Tulum. Even if the sand beaches of Tulum don't give you a full traveling experience, then the Can Lum Lagoon should do the trick. With a small gateway fee, not only would you enjoy the dazzling blue-green water of this lake, but also get to enjoy the view of the Can Lum Lagoon with the tower that runs from shore down to the lake. The tower helps tourists who aren't good at swimming to just relax and enjoy the view of the Can Lum Lagoon. To add to that, there are swings and hammocks for a relaxation. For all the tourists that just want to relax in the lake and also a large swimming area for divers and also people that want to swim through life jacket provided by tourists and visitors to swim. Number 9. Xelha Water now, you can't say you've toured Tulum without seeing the Tsel Ha Water Park, which is believed to be the Mayans to be one of their archaeological sites. The Mayans believes that water was born there. Activities one can do there ranges from swimming and snorkeling surrounded by rainbow-colored fish who have made the river an inlet their home riding a bike, taking long walks in the middle of the jungle, taking the train or just relaxing while enjoying the lazy river. The jungle has always been the main topic of conversation in the mouths of tourists who visit the Helha water park. Not only it is blessed with thrilling wildlife, but the green grasses and beautiful lily flowers makes one value this work of nature. Riding bikes also has been a major deal here, because who wouldn't want to tour such a mass of views without a comfortable mean of transportation? Number 8. Vena La Luz Moving on, you cannot come to Tulum if you haven't come to the light, like the meaning of Ven a la Luz. Ven a la Luz is an iconic work of art made by Daniel Popper. It is a 10 meter, 33 foot tall sculpture made of iron, wood, greenery and rope. It is a sculpture of a woman who spreads open her chest. The Ven a la Luz is a photography center for many tourists and Tulum who loves taking pictures and photos and if you are among these people then you should check Ven a la Luz. Number 7. Cenote Sac Actun Discovered at the end of the 20th centuries by surveyors, the Cenote Sac Actum has since been there a major site of attraction for tourists coming in and out of Tulum. Not only does the underground cave have wonderful creatures of nature flock in it, but also has deep blue-green water running beneath the cave and throughout the cave. So if you are a diver and also love to swim, there will be a good relaxation site for you.
Number 6. Mujil Archaeological Site Mujil Archaeological Site is located approximately 15 kilometers south of the coast line site of Tulum in the municipality of Felipe Carrillo Puerto in the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico. The musical archaeological site having dates back to 350 BC to as late as 1200 and 1500 AD is one of the Mayans' greatest assets for both tourists and themselves, the Mayans. Not only it is blessed with the boardwalks that to the go into the jungle through the marshlands, but also it has a massive tower for tourists to have a spectacular view of the place. It is situated the Cian Can Lagoon, a name meaning where the sky is born. Mugil was located along a trade route in the Caribbean while the main means of transportation was the help of camels. The music has strong ties with Cuba, back in which made the route to Cuba from music their main route for transportation of foods and other materials, ranging from chocolate, camels, milk, sugar, and more. Number 5. Punta Laguna Nature Reserve about 40 to 45 miles north of Tulum, the Punta Laguna Nature Reserve has been one of the major locations for sightseeing in the entire of Mexico because of the fascinating wildlife that harbors the ranging from the vast species of birds, howler monkeys, jaguars, to the most famous of all, the spider monkey. Hence, it has been the major site for travelers to visit before leaving Tulum. Like most reserves in Tulum, the reserve is blessed with wildlife, but the main attraction for tourists is the spider monkeys. Though the birds would never want to be outshined, this is a refreshing environment for all animal lovers. You should not miss this opportunity at all. Number 4. Aktum Chen Park With the length of the cave being about 600 meters and the beautiful cenote of crystal clear water about 12 meters deep, you will love to see this beautiful work of nature, not to talk of sip lines and two suspension bridges contemplate natural trees, plants and flowers which are quite fascinating to watch. The cave has always been the main thing that catches tourists' attention. They are strict preventive measures for anyone who and wishes to enter the cave, which is they must be on a life jacket and they must be in the pack to a certain when someone is in trouble. Another beautiful wild life that swims through the cenote is the turtles, which are always together in dozens, swimming and looking for food to eat in the water. It is assumed that one of the oldest turtles in the world lives here. One wouldn't want to dial that assumption coupled with the number of turtles there are in the water. And not forget the beautiful dolphins that entertain always the tourists by jumping and diving into the water. Number 3. Cian Khan's Biosphere Reserve The Cian Khan Biosphere is a biosphere reserve in the municipality of Tulum in the Mexican state of Quintana Roo. It was established in 1986 and became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. One of the major reasons why it is popular reserve is because of the flock of wildlife ranging from spider monkeys, flamingos, cockadrails, and the very thrilling white-tailed deer. The spider monkeys are mostly the main site of attraction for tourists who get to the reserve. So if you love wildlife and like taking pictures of wildlife, you should visit this reserve to get a first-hand experience of it. Also due to the wildlife like cockadrails, tourists are advised to go on a life jacket and also be guided by the tour guide or tour personnel who wouldn't accompany 
around the Sian Khan Biosphere Reserve. Number 2. Koba Ruins The ruins of Koba lie about 47 kilometers northwest of Tulum in the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico. Tourists make their way to the Koba Ruins to see three major sites of attraction, which are the Nohosh Mul Pyramid, Koba Stele, and Conjunto de Pinturas. The Nohosh Mul Pyramid, which is about 137 feet tall, is the second tallest Mayan pyramid in the world. To climb to the top of this pyramid, you will need to take about 120 steps, which makes it a major site for touring when one is in Tulum. Travelers enjoy taking walks on the pyramid while taking photographs of themselves as souvenirs, which they will take back to their representative homes. It is a place that everyone should visit. Number 1. Playa Paraíso You wouldn't want to leave Tulum without going to a place where you can relax, watch the sun go up and enjoy the cool breeze. Where else would all these be present if not Playa Paraíso? Not only do the green palms beautify the beach, but also the white sands which are soft and coarse for building a sandcastle. With a small token, one can get an umbrella and a mat for laying under the sun and enjoying the beach view. Walks on the beach are what tourists enjoy at this location, especially for married couples who are on their honeymoon. And with the beautiful sunset, you wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Any tourist who loves to swim is never denied access, and they would be free to take a swim at the beach. The trainers are also around to teach newbies how to swim and with the lifeguards on the ground for any emergency that may arise. <laughs> 